cases are on the rise in mid-Michigan. In fact, we're seeing more cases now than we did last year. Our cumulative hospitalization graph, which is on a significant upward trend, not, not certainly where we were in October, November, December, or April, March, April, May, but we have significantly less cases there. This is um, really a significant upward trend. Ingham County accumulated another 340 new COVID cases this last week. The county had 75 patients hospitalized with the virus, and there are 17 in intensive care. Percent positivity is now well above 5%. We have actually had a day where we exceeded 10% positivity. So we're really starting to head into, I think, um, that seven or so percent positivity at this point in time. A Sparrow Hospital spokesman tells me they have 45 COVID positive patients, which is much higher than at this time last year when the hospital had nine. Ingham County still needs more than 20,000 people to get vaccinated before we reach a 70% vaccination rate. Despite the discouraging COVID numbers, Vail tells me the vaccines are helping. You can look at those graphs and you can see that, that despite a spike in cases, we're not reaching the kinds of um, high levels um, of increases in cases that we've seen before. We're also not seeing the hospitalizations and deaths that we've seen before. So it is um, certain that the, the, the vaccines are um, effective and helping with what's going on. It's a similar situation in the rest of mid-Michigan. So we're a little bit concerned. Our case numbers have been going up. Uh, you know, if we look at them every seven days, they've been going up um, and that is concerning to us. In fact, she tells me, even with the vaccine, we're seeing higher COVID numbers this year than last. The numbers in August 2020 uh, were steady and they started climbing up and then we hit a peak around November 2020. Our current August numbers are higher than August 2020 numbers, but we are encouraged by hoping that the vaccine will prevent any further surge this coming year. Health officials continue to encourage people to get vaccinated, wear their masks, and wash their hands frequently. Reporting in downtown Lansing, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Al Myers, Fox 47 News.